The New Testament, an expanded translation by Kenneth S. West. Matthew, a book of the lineage of Jesus Christ, son of David, son of Abraham. Abraham begat Isaac, Isaac begat Jacob, Jacob begat Judas and his brethren, and Judas begat Phares and Zerah of Thamar, and Phares begat Esram, and Esram begat Aram. And Aram begat Aminadab, and Aminadab begat Nason, and Nason begat Salmon, and Salmon, excuse me, Salmon begat Boaz of Rechab, and Boaz begat Obed of Ruth, and Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David the king, and David begat Solomon of her whom had been the wife of Urias. And Solomon, excuse me, Solomon begat Roboam, and Roboam begat Abia, and Abia begat Asaph, Asaph begat Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat begat Joram, and Joram begat Ozias, Ozias begat Joatham, Joatham begat Achaz, Achaz begat Ezekias, Ezekias begat Manassas, Manassas begat Ammon, Ammon begat Josias, Josias begat Jeconius and his brethren in the time of the deportation to Babylon. And after the deportation to Babylon, Jeconius begat Salathiel, and Salathiel begat Zerobabel, and Zerobabel begat Ab Ab Abiud, and Abiud begat Eliakim, Eliakim begat Azor, and Azor begat Sadok, and Sadok begat Akim, and Akim begat Eliud, Eliud begat Eleazar, Eleazar begat Mathan, Mathan begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, out from whom feminine relative pronoun singular number referring to Mary only was born Jesus he who is called Christ therefore all the successive members of the genealogy from Abraham until David are 14 members and from David until the deportation to Babylon 14 members and from the deportation to Babylon until the Christ 14 members now, the birth of Jesus Christ was thus, after his mother Mary was promised in marriage to Joseph, before they came together as husband and wife, she was found to be pregnant, the source of that pregnancy being the Holy Spirit. However, Joseph, her husband, being a conscientious, law-abiding man, and yet not proposing to make her a public example, after mature consideration, desired to dismiss her secretly. And after he had turned these things over in his mind, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to join to yourself Mary, your wife, for that which was begotten in her is as to its source from the Holy Spirit. And she, and she shall give birth to a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he himself will save his people from their sins. Now, all this has taken place in order that there might be fulfilled that which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and she shall give, him, shall give birth to a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is, With us God is. Excuse me, with us is God. With us is God. And Joseph, having awakened from his sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. And he took to himself his wife and lived in absolute continence with her until she gave birth to, to a son. And he called his name Jesus. Now, Jesus, having been born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, Learned men from the eastern regions, the lands of the sun rising, made their way to Jerusalem, saying, 
Where is he who was born king of the Jews? For we saw his star at its rising, and we came to pay homage to him. And the king Herod, having heard, was stirred up and irritated, and all Jerusalem with him. And gathering together all the chief priests of the people and the men of the people learned in the sacred scriptures, he went to inquiring of them where the Christ should be born. And they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet and is on record. And as for you, Bethlehem, land of Judea, by no means are you least among the leaders of Judea. For out from you shall come one who governs, such as one as will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, having called the learned men secretly, ascertained accurately from them the length of time since the star's appearance, and sending them to Bethlehem, he said, Having proceeded on your way, conduct an exhaustive and accurate investigation concerning the child, and after you discover that for which you are seeking, bring back the news to me in order that I also, having come, may render homage to him. And having heard the king, they proceeded on their way. And behold, the star which they saw in its rising kept on going before them until, having come, it stood above where the young child was. And having seen the star, they rejoiced with great joy, exceedingly. And having come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother. And having fallen down, they prostrated themselves in homage before him. And having opened their treasure chests, they brought to him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, by another road they went back to their country. Now, after they had returned, behold, an angel of the Lord appears in a dream to Joseph, saying, Having arisen, take at once under your care the young child and his mother, and be fleeing into Egypt, and be there until I tell you. For Herod is about to be seeking the young child to destroy him. And having arisen, he took the young child and his mother under his care by night and withdrew to Egypt. And he was there until the death of Herod, in order that there might be fulfilled that which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt I called my son. Then Herod, having seen that he was deceived by the learned men, became greatly incensed, and having sent off those appointed to fulfill his wishes, he put out of the way all the male children, those in Bethlehem and in all its surrounding territory from two years and under, according to the time which he carefully ascertained from the learned men. Then there was fulfilled that which was spoken through Jeremiah the prophet, saying, A voice in Ramah was heard, Lamentation and great wailing, Rachel weeping audibly for her children, and she desired not to be comforted, because they are not. But Herod having died, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Having arisen, take the young child and his mother under your care, and be proceeding into the land of Israel. For those who seek the life of the young child have died, and having arisen, he took the young child and his mother under his care and went to the land of Israel. However, having heard that Archelaus, A-R-C-H-E-L-A-U-S, Archelaus, was reigning as king in Judea instead of his father, Herod, he was afraid to go there. And having been warned in a dream, he withdrew into the regions of Galilee. And having come, he established his home in a city called Nazareth, in order that there might be fulfilled that which was spoken through the prophets, a Nazarene shall he be called. Now, in those days, there makes his public appearance John the baptizer, making a public proclamation with the formality, gravity, and authority which must be listened to and obeyed in the inhabited region of Judea, saying, Be having a change of mind which issues in regret and a change of conduct, 
for there has come near and is imminent the kingdom of heaven. For this man is he who was spoken of through Isaiah the prophet, saying, A voice of one shouting out in the inhabited region, Make ready at once the Lord's road. Be making straight and level his paths. Now, John himself was in the habit of wearing his outer garments made from camel's hair and a leather belt around his loins, and his diet was composed of locusts and wild honey. Then there proceeded out to him in a steady stream Jerusalem and all Judea and all the surrounding country about the Jordan, and they were being immersed in the Jordan River by him while making a public confession of their sins. But having seen many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to the baptism, he said to them, Offspring of vipers, who gave you a private, confidential hint that you should be fleeing from the wrath about to break at any moment. Produce therefore fruit, weighing as much as the repentance you profess. And do not think to be saying within yourselves, A father we have, Abraham, for I am saying to you that God is able out of these stones as source material to raise up children to Abraham. And already the axe has been placed at the root of the trees, and lies there ready for use. Therefore, every tree which is not producing fruit which is good is being cut out and is being thrown into fire. As for, my, as for myself, I indeed immerse you in water because of repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He himself will baptize you in the sphere of and by means of the Holy Spirit and fire whose winnowing fork is in his hand and he will thoroughly cleanse his threshing floor and will gather his wheat into the granary but the chaff he will burn with fire unquenchable then comes Jesus from Galilee up to the Jordan to John for the purpose of being immersed by him But he kept on trying to hinder him, saying, As for myself, I have need by you to be immersed. And as for you, are you coming to me? But answering, Jesus said to him, Permit it at this time, for thus is it fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he is, as, <clears throat> excuse me, then he acceded to his wishes, and Jesus, having been immersed, immediately went up from the water and behold the heavens were opened and he saw God's spirit descending in a form like that of a dove coming upon him and behold a voice out of heaven saying this is my son the beloved one in whom I take pleasure then Jesus was led up into the un uninhabited region for the purpose of being put to the test by the devil that test being in the form of a solicitation to do evil. And having fasted forty days and forty nights, after this he became hungry. And having come, facing him, he who puts to the test by his solicitation to do evil said to him, In view of the fact that you are son of God by virtue of your particip participation in the divine essence of deity, speak to the end that these stones become loaves of bread. But answering, he said, It has been written, and is at present on record, not upon the basis of bread only shall the individual live, but upon the basis of every word proceeding out of God's mouth. Then the devil takes him with himself into the city set apart for the worship and service of God. And he caused him to stand upon the wing of the temple. And he says to him, Since you are son of God by virtue of your participation in the divine essence of deity, hurl yourself down, for it has been written and at present is on record. To his angels he will give a charge concerning you, and upon their hands they will take you up, lest at any time you strike your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, On the other hand, it has been written, Jesus said to him, On the other hand, it has been written, and at present is on record, You shall not put the Lord your God to an all-out test. 
Again, the devil takes him with himself into a mountain exceedingly lofty. <clears throat> and he shows to him all the kingdoms of the world system and their glory. And he said to him, these things to you, all of them, I will give. If having fallen down upon your knees and having touched the ground with your forehead in, a, in an expression of profound reverence, you would prostrate yourself and worship before me. Then Jesus says to him, be gone and keep on going, Satan, for it has been written and at present is on record. That's the end of.